hey everyone it's Lisa and today I'm just doing a real simple look what I did is just basically put on makeup just to go we just went out to eat today and to Costco <laughs> so that was it um, here I'm putting on just the what I've been using lately which is the Too Faced hangover eye primer it smells like coconut water or coconuts and it's real moisturizing but yet it does dry down and I do notice that it helps my makeup stay on and not get so oily because when I go back to using like the Natasha Denona lifting it doesn't um, seem to hold the oil back as much this one is a little bit better the Natasha is probably better for me during the winter okay this is the Giorgio Armani master corrector in number one and I like to let it sit there for a minute and then pat it in with my fingers much better than a brush And I put it by my anywhere it's dark and kind of red and then right here what I'm doing is um, you know yesterday I had on you know war liner in my waterline mascara and more makeup than I usually do and even though I'd wash my face several times I still sometimes have that residual darkness under my eyes so I just had to make sure I got that off and that makes a big difference when you do that okay this is the Lancome uh, foundation that I showed you yesterday and um, Elizabeth said she used two pumps, so that's what I did, is I put two pumps on the back of my hand, but I did not use quite all of that. And um, I'm using the Oval 8 brush, and so what I like to do is kind of put it out on my face first, and then kind of um, brush it on with this. And it has just great coverage. It's, it's really nice. I've, a lot of you said you liked it, and a lot of you that live in humid weather like I do said that you loved it for the summer it does last really well on the skin and it's a, a beautiful color and I put it all over my eyelids and just run it down my neck and this is a good match I don't really have to work it in a lot it just kind of blends right in with my skin And you see how easy that brush just gets you know all in your eye area and it's just nice and so I had you know pretty much left over okay this is the La Mer I decided to set it with La Mer today instead of the mineral powder just to just for my own benefit just to see which one I liked better and it's just two different looks you'll see this is just not as glowy as the mineral powder but it still looks just as pretty in a different way and so this that is the it cosmetics ball brush a really good brush for loose powder and I'm just kind of bouncing that on okay this is something I have started using again it's the Chanel bronzer universal or whatever they're calling it now and I'm that's a damp beauty blender one that probably needs to be thrown away it's old I need to get out my new one that Lori gave me but if you use that with the Chanel it's just perfect and just the shape of it right up underneath your cheekbones just works out perfectly and um, I like putting it on I've done it both ways I like applying it after I set my makeup with that powder I don't know why I just feel like it's not as I don't know I think because if you put that on and then you put the powder on it kind of covers it up and you'll see I'm going to set this but I just like the way it looks better after I've already powdered I'll put a little bit on my nose and I wanted to show you that little holder um, it came with the one that Lori sent me and I have enjoyed that so much just to put even my dirty beauty blender just to have somewhere to put it instead of having to throw it somewhere and then have to find it the next time I've enjoyed that little holder that little stand okay this is the Hakuhodo or Chikahodo uh, cheek and highlight brush from Beautylish and that is an oldie but a goodie that was um, the Dior blush the one that um, I'll put it down below it's the one that looks different on everyone it's supposed to rosy glow and then that is the Wayne Goss holiday brush with the Mac NC 45 powder just to kind of set that bronzer 
And then I took that brush again that I used for blush and just kind of blend it all together on my cheeks. That is the Estee Lauder and a Tarte Double Ended Concealer Brush. And I'm kind of using my Estee Lauder Double Wear in Tawny for concealer. It's slightly lighter and I like the way it just makes a slight lightness down the center of my face and has good coverage in it. I don't need to set it. It's thin enough and it dries down enough that I don't have to set it. And it blends right in with what I've already done. I don't have to, you know, it's kind of like I can put on just what I need and where I need it. Okay, this is one of the 5-in-1 Bare Mineral Eye Basics, and it's, I can't remember which one, I'll find out and put it down below, but it was, I got it in a sample pack, and um, it's just the plainest one, it's just kind of like an off-white color, but with no shimmer. And then this is MAC Charcoal Brown. This is one of the, when I want my brows to be a little bit darker, and it's just a, a go-to brow product. And so that's the Wayne Goss Brow Spoolie. I'm brushing out my brows, and I end up sabotaging my brows, but you'll see what they look like before I do that. And that's the Wayne Goss Brow Brush. I love it. It's kind of stiff. If you already have the Hakuhodo that I had before this, you don't need this. But if you didn't, this is a great brush. I love how stiff it is, and um, it just works great, especially with the powders. I don't know if I'd use it with the dip down and all, or you know, with the other you know pomades and stuff like that. But um, and this brow is my better brow. It just goes back smoothly. And then I'm kind of, I like to elongate the end of it just a little bit. So I'm basically just shaping it up. Giving it more definition. But that color is just perfect because it's, there's no warmth to it. So I should have stopped right here, but I was thinking I needed a brow gel. So I went back in my room and looked for the clear Anastasia and I couldn't find it. So I ended up, I said, well, I'll just use a little bit of this NYX brow mousse that I've been using in blonde. And as you can see there, it was too light. It kind of undid everything I had done with the color, but it, it did set them, um, but they look kind of wacky. <laughs> I was hoping after they just set a little bit, they would look better. And with my bangs, they don't show that much anyway, but that was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, that is the Wayne Goss brush. It's my favorite one. I'll find out which one it is and put it down below, but it's kind of like a 217 that's been pinched a little bit. So it's it's neat. It's a good all-around brush. You can do so many different things with it. And I'm just putting that lightest color from the Clarins Nude 01 palette all over. And then I'm going in just lightly with that gray, the next to the darkest color, just to accent the crease just a little teeny bit. I basically didn't want this to be a shadow look at all. I just wanted it to be real simple. And I apologize for my, I've got my Invisaligns in and they just, uh, they make me talk weird. <laughs> And they make me, hold, make me hold my mouth weird, too. I notice it really watching this video. I think they'll be worth it, but goodness. Okay, and I think I had gone into that rose gold color a little bit and put a little bit of that in there, too, just in case it was too cool. Okay, this is that double-ended tart liner. And what I'm doing is I'm using the pencil side for the lid, and then that is the smoky liner brush from Bobbi Brown. And just, you know, kind of blending that out a little bit so that it's not so, so black and it's not so, you know, just such a stark line. And then I'm doing it on the other side. You can see how rounded my eyes are. It's hard to even get over the hump, the highest part of my eyeball, <laughs> without stabbing myself. 
and I'm not really worried about getting down to the lashes at this point because I'll do that in the next step. I mean, I'm getting as close as I can, but the way my eyelids do, it's hard to get right down there at the lashes with a pencil. Okay, so here I'm taking the other end, laying it on its side, and this is where I'm going to get right down at the root of the lashes and do that darkness. And then I'm going to do my wing, just my wing with this part and kind of blend it in. And it's just a little bit of a softer look. And here I am again, just laying that and putting it right down at the lashes. This is, I went and used my Stila liner the other day. I just happened to pick it up and this is even better than the Stila. I really like this liner and I love the option of having the other, the other end. Okay, this I took an Inglot brush that is really nice. I'll have to find out what number it is and put it below, but I used some of that charcoal brown by MAC just to accent the edge of the crease a little bit. This is the NARS liner. I'll put the name down below, but it's just that it's not stark white. It's kind of like a creamy color and I'm doing the waterline. It just makes the eyes look more simple and open and clean. Um, Brooke had my telescopic. I finally found it. I actually found it in the car when it, it had fallen out of her makeup bag when we went out of town and then she took it back. So I ended up just using the CoverGirl Lash Blast as like my base mascara. Um, so I'm not really trying to do a lot of length or anything with this. I'm just getting down to the roots and kind of placing my lashes where I want and um, I'll just have to get another another telescopic for me. <laughs> And um, I use re what is it not Revita Lash but New Lash for my lashes. And just wearing those lashes yesterday, I hate that they showed so much, but it just reminded me. I just I, I have enjoyed not wearing lashes and just having decent lashes and using mascara. And so here I'm just basically getting to the roots of the lashes. Sorry, I probably should have cut some of this out. <laughs> okay, and now I'm, um, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. Lately I've just been doing this where I put mascara on the very you know, roots of the lashes, and I don't even worry about the ends. I just kind of bounce it, literally, right on the lash line, just so it gives me just a little bit of something on the bottom. This is the Chanel Volume, and you can see how much it's going to just add to my lashes. It'll make them, give them more, I don't know, not make them too much longer, just a little bit longer, and a little bit thicker, and blacker. Okay, so I let down my bangs, and I am just removing the, I had on my Estee Lauder uh, New Dimension Lip Conditioner. So now I'm taking that off with the Q-tip, and then I'm going to use that new lip liner, the Clarins Nude in O2. I need to sharpen it so I have a better point, but that's, you can see how it is just almost identical to the color of my lips. I really could probably just fill them in and that would be a good look. But I wanted to use one of my favorite lipsticks today, which is the Tom Ford Spanish Pink. And every time I wear this lipstick, I just think that I think if, if there's anybody out there that doesn't usually wear pinks, this is a good one. It's just the perfect color. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.